Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss lead code problem number 151 that is reverse words in a string. So let's get started. It is one of the very important interview question. So let's first understand the problem. Given an input string S, reverse the order of the words. So basically, we'll be given one input string. Here in example, you can see the input string is the sky is blue and we have to reverse the order of the words. So that means the last word becomes the first and first word becomes the last. A word is defined as a sequence of non-space characters. So this particular word is one word. This is another word because words will be separated by one space. The words in S will be separated by at least one space and we have to return a string of words in the reverse order concatenated by single space. So basically there could be more spaces between two words but you need to return the reverse string concatenated by only single space and then note that s may contain leading or trailing spaces or multiple spaces between two words but the return string should have only a single space so in another example you can see we have hello world before hello we have some spaces after world we have some spaces that spaces are called leading or the trailing spaces you need to remove those and also there could be multiple spaces between hello and world but you need to return the reverse string with only single space. In this example you can see a good example. So between good and example you can see multiple spaces. But when you are returning the reversed string, you need to have only one space separated by each word. So let's first understand the approach and then we'll write a solution for it. So let's take the same example. Let's say we take the sky is blue. So in this example itself, we'll see all the things we need to cover. So let's say before the we have some spaces, after blue we have some spaces and between the sky and is we have multiple spaces. So this is our string. So first we need to separate all the words. So we can take one array for that. Let's say we are taking one array that would be words and we are going to store all the words in that particular array. So we can say the sky is blue. So this is one of the array where we are going to store the words and we are going to separate these words using the spaces. So we are going to split the string with the spaces and we are going to store all the words in one of the array and then next step we will use reverse loop to reverse the array. So once the array is reversed so that means we got blue is sky the. So once this string is reversed we need to remove these trailing or the leading spaces. So for that we can use our trim function. There is a trim function in Java which removes the leading or the trailing spaces. So basically we need to do these three steps after converting string to the string array. So now one more important thing to note here is since we have to reverse the array we need something to store so that at the end we can convert this array to the string. So for that we are going to use string builder. String builder is basically one class in Java which is used to create mutable strings. It is used when you want to modify a particular string without creating a new object because as we know we can't modify strings. So whenever we want to modify any string we need to use string builder for that. So let's write the solution for it. Let's write a method. It will return string. We can say reverse words and the input would be string. And then first step we need to split the strings to the string array. So we can take one array that would be we can say words because we are splitting the words and we have to split using the split function. How we are going to split using spaces. So there could be single space there could be multiple spaces. So we need to use regex here space plus space plus means it could be any number of spaces and then we have to reverse the array so for reversing we are going to take string builder class sb is equals to new string builder and then simply we can say reverse loop. So reverse loop will start from the last word that would be words dot length minus 1 greater than equals to 0 i minus minus since it is a reverse loop. And then we need to store the reverse array in the string builder. So it would be sb dot append. So append is a function which is used for the string builder and it would be words of i. And after each word we need to append one space as well. So it would be space. Now we have reversed the array in the string builder. At 
last since we want to return the result in string instead of array so we need to convert string builder to string so it would be sb dot to string and also remember we have to remove the leading and the trailing spaces so at last we can use our trim function to do that now in the main function we can call this method reverse words and let's test the same examples so the first example was the sky is blue and let's write our print statement to see the results in the output system dot out dot print ln let's run the program and see the output so we can see in the output blue is sky da so it has been reversed let's test the other examples as well so the next example is hello world with the leading and the trailing spaces we can just change the output input here let's run the program and see the output world hello you can see here the leading and the trailing spaces has been removed because we have used trim function and the last input is a good example because there has been multiple spaces between good and example we can change our input here a good example let's run the program and see the output example good a so you can see here the multiple spaces has been removed i hope you understood the solution if you have any questions or any doubts please let me know in the comment section please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos please provide your feedback in the comment section thank you